In our last video, we were in Tupelo, Mississippi, the birthplace of Elvis Presley, where we had some southern comfort food. We strolled the streets of this historic Mississippi town. And we ended our stay at the birthplace of the man himself. In this video, we're in Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Missouri is our third and final stop on our return trip of what we called Wanderlust 2022, our epic journey from Kansas to Central Florida and back again. As usual, Caro, tell us a little bit about this town. Springfield is the third largest city in Missouri behind Kansas City and St. Louis. It has a current population of just over 169,000 people with a metro area of 480,000. It's actually the fastest growing metropolitan area in the state of Missouri. So today we're in downtown Springfield, Missouri, which is right near the campus of Missouri State University. We came in on historic Walnut Street, so our plan is we're gonna find something to eat and explore around downtown. If memory serves, we're doing this voiceover about two months after we actually visited I remember our first stop was for something to eat. <laughs> and then as usual, if you watch our videos, we had no real game plan other than just take off in the direction and see what we find. Springfield had an Old West kind of feeling and actually one of its notable residents, maybe infamous residents, was Wild Bill Hickok folk hero of the American West, known for his many gunfights and often outlandish, if not fictitious, tales. Let me just say up front that I really enjoyed visiting this town. I really like the old feel that it has to it, and there's just something really cool about walking on the streets of an old downtown. And the other thing we really liked about Springfield is that it's a college town. For some reason, we just really enjoy visiting college towns. You can see here from this sign that Springfield is the birthplace of Route 66, which we did not know until we visited. This harkens back to the 1920s when the U.S. government mandated formation of a national highway system. <laughs> yeah, it seems every town has its claim to fame. Uh, the town before this one, Tupelo, the birthplace of Elvis Presley, the one before that, Montgomery, uh, birthplace of civil rights. I guess that's what makes traveling so cool. Springfield is also known as Queen City of the Ozarks because it sits on the Springfield Plateau of the Ozark Mountains. It's really known for its outdoor recreational activities. There's over a hundred city parks and 140 miles of bike trails in this town. Springfield also had a place in the entertainment world. Ozark Jubilee was the first widely viewed country music TV show to feature big stars, and it was filmed right there in Springfield. Unfortunately, the Jewel Theater where it was filmed was demolished in 1961. 
Then its spin-off, known as Five Star Jubilee, was the first network color TV series to be filmed outside of Hollywood or New York City. And speaking of Hollywood, there are some notable actors from Springfield, Missouri, including Brad Pitt, Kathleen Turner, and John Ashcroft. So Johnny Depp in Owensboro, Brad Pitt in Springfield. You sure there wasn't some ulterior motive for this plan? After a little aimless wandering, we finally got to the part I'm always most excited to check out, the historic downtown. And I just got a thought, Caro, as we're watching this video to do this voiceover. I wonder if it's because both of us went to colleges that were from pretty small towns, if that's what we like about them so much. That could be. They remind me of our college towns. Yeah, maybe it's a little reminiscing of the good old days. Definitely. And speaking of college towns, as we mentioned, it is the home of Missouri State University, which was founded in 1905 and is the second largest university in the state. It's home of the Bears, and the day we were there, they were getting ready for a football game. On a related note, Springfield is also home to the Springfield Cardinals, which is a minor league baseball team that has been there since 2005. Since our previous video was in the birthplace of Elvis Presley, Tupelo, Mississippi, this seems like a good time to say that Springfield has a little tie to the king as well. The best western, Route 66, is actually a hotel that the king himself stayed there in 1956. I feel like every city has its urban legend or sort of crazy tale. This one for Springfield is known as the Cobra Scare. So in 1953, they actually killed 10 cobras in downtown Springfield. And it made national headlines because a cobra actually made its way onto the city seal. Well, it wasn't until 1988, over 30 years later, that they found out why, where these snakes had come from. They discovered that back in 1953, a 14-year-old released the snakes from a crate at a pet shop because he was mad at the owner. Apparently so. He must have figured the statute of limitations on snakes had run out. Ooh, I see we're getting very close to what's always one of the highlights for me when we visit a city, the local brewery. Yeah, I've said this in other videos. Jeff is a beer and brewery magnet. We did not look this up ahead of time, but he can always find the local breweries.
to Jeff's delight, we went in and sampled some of their local beers, which they've been brewing for over 25 years. Yeah, this brewery is obviously in an older part of town. The building, I think Kara looked up, is somewhere around 1910, which just makes it all the more cool for us to visit. Here we see Casper's, the historic Route 66 diner, which sadly relocated just prior to our visit. And as you can see from the sign on the building, apparently this is the brewery district that we found ourselves in. If you're into self-guided tours like we are, you can see they have placards about the Battle of Springfield located throughout the downtown. So, Caro, I don't know if you realize this, this doesn't have much to do with Springfield, but we are just past the one-year anniversary of the first video that we ever posted. So, can you believe we've been doing this for a year? It's been a fun year, lots of cool places to visit. Yeah, fun's an understatement. I mean, we've got uh, Naples, Florida, Chicago. Of course, we spent the summer in Florida, so we had a few videos from there. Uh, our, what we called Wanderlust 2022, which is this is the final video of. Man, we covered a lot of ground. I don't know that we can top this year, to be perfectly honest. I agree. Travel videos often talk about food, but here's a food fact you might not expect to hear. I just learned that the USDA keeps billions of pounds of cheese in underground caves just outside of Springfield. On a personal note, Caroline and I had been to Kansas City, St. Louis, Jefferson City, and the Ozarks. So Springfield was the last of the must-see places, so we're both really glad that we were able to fit this into our return journey. So if you're interested, we do have videos on this channel for both St. Louis and Jefferson City. So if you haven't considered it before, we can highly recommend that you add Missouri to your travel list. So with that said, Kara, let's let the folks enjoy the last couple minutes of this video before we officially wrap things up.
Okay, so now that we've come full circle, what do you think of Springfield, Missouri? I always love a college town, and this is home of Missouri State University. It was a really great downtown. It's got a lot going for it. Yeah, as soon as we turned down Walnut Street, I knew I was going to like this one, the historical homes. Mm -hmm. This downtown is, is really neat. It's, it's definitely an eclectic mix of really old and new. Um, so it makes for just a visually interesting exploration. Um, so yeah, I definitely give it a thumbs up. Me too. All right, get off the couch. We'll see you next time. Cheers.